So in actually, to actually get what you, your performance in place, what, what, what was involved there? You, you, you had this antagonistic atmosphere there. How do you overcome that and get them to go along with it? I was so disappointed by the antagonisms because I really hope for a full sense of community and communality. I had to find participants. Uh, the word went out to various parts of the community that I wanted a set of participants who were not trained actors but wanted to be involved uh, physically. And that would take a great deal of their time because the space was so huge. I had to activate that whole roundhouse to bring it to life, to keep it in the round and in momentum. So we were rehearsing contact improvisation, we were gathering and recording aspects of the uh, conference talks and speeches, and getting extracts of that. Michael Cousteau, who was the director of the ICA at the time, was enormously helpful. Yes, yes. Yeah, he, he made so much possible. And I had a terrific team of core participants and then an enlarged group who were involved with uh, certain aspects of what we would call it installation now, but it was largely debris. I had to have a horse and cart moving through the space. Uh, and in those days, it was still just barely possible to find, I don't know what we called them, but um, there'd be a man with a horse and cart who sharpened knives or who brought... Oh, the totters, uh, yeah. What were they called? The totters. The totters. Yes. Well, well, that was still in Camden Town possible, you know, to put together 15 pounds and uh, engage someone's um, uh, horses and cart. And so that was important. And I was working uh, a lot with extracts of the Beatles music. Um, I read the news today, oh boy, that became very central to the sense of uh, disaster and ambiguous potentiality. I had extracts from what Stokely Carmichael was pronouncing that was very intense. And then there were the, um, there was a digger, one of the people who lived on nothing. Emma Grogan. What? Emma Grogan. Emmett, yeah, Emmett, Emmett was organizing sources of food coming in for our lunches and clothes that could be part of changing what you wore and where you were in space. So the best source for Roundhouse is still uh, my score, my script, and more than meat joy. And I was probably one of those right around here on the shelf somewhere. I'm sure they have it here somewhere. But we should use that as a reference because that has the details of, I mean, um, we compiled that book, I guess, in um, the late 70s, so it's closer to my notes than now. I've got it. Yeah. When you say we compiled, who was involved uh, in that? Bruce McPherson was my partner at the time when we, he was going to do um, just small, impoverished publisher who was going to do, maybe publish a little chapbook of essays. And once we started to live together, we worked on this uh, large, uh, comprehensive notes and performance history for about five years. Mm -hmm.